so I've been bitten by the film bug recently. I've started collecting cameras for about for about five years now for film cameras, and I just keep going and going. I keep finding a good deal. I keep finding the camera I want to get. So I set my sight on it and I go for it. Um, recently, I've been trying to get into compact rangefinders, um, kind of like this Minolta right here, and I've been trying to get my hands on a few of them and. I was lucky enough to finally win this auction for this Minolta. It isn't film tested, which is something you gotta look out for, but I was able to get it for only $19.99, plus shipping and handling. But I wanted something in my hand now. I wanted something I could use right away, or at least just physically hold. So I went over on Facebook Marketplace, and I just searched up film camera in the all marketplace and set my location settings. And this is what I found. Then as you can see here uh, on Facebook Marketplace, there is a lot of options to choose from in your area. A really nice kit with the box, the manual, probably a roll of film there. Oh, that is such a grab if I could get it. So yeah, if you're looking to get into 35mm or even I saw a Mamiya 645 on here, a fully kitted out Mamiya 645 for around $500. If you're looking to get into any type of um, film shooting, you should just go on Facebook Marketplace, flea markets, uh, ask your grandparents. Hi, Pepper. You, you want to shoot some film? Oh. <laughs> she didn't want to shoot film. <laughs> search on Facebook Marketplace, search flea markets, search thrift stores. I'm going to go thrift store shopping today too. Um, find what you want. Uh, find something cheap to get you started and then start moving up from there. I found a I found a Yashica Electro 35. Okay, turns out it is actually a Yashica Linux 5000E. Misread it, couldn't find the original photo, but hey, we're back on track. These little cameras are great. They're relatively inexpensive compared to full-blown rangefinders like the Leica or the Nikon series rangefinders. And they give you an idea of what it's like to shoot on them without having to invest in a system that's going to cost you a lot of money. Now granted, those systems are going to work and they're going to last, but if you're just starting out or if you're low budget like me, you need something that's reasonably to acquire. I just picked this up at my local pharmacy. Um, just three rolls of Kodak 400. Nothing too special, but it's a film that I can use without to worrying too much about what the colors are gonna look like and just throw it in. I know it's gonna be standard and I know it's gonna work well. You know, Pepper, you're a messy kitty. You're a messy kitty. You're also a thirsty kitty. Okay, so I tried thrift store hopping. Uh, didn't really quite work out. There's not really much to talk about about them. There was one camera. It was a Canon point and shoot. Nothing really to report. Um, I might have gotten it if it would have told me what the aperture of the lens was. It did not, so I decided to pass it up. It was only three dollars. Um, but wasn't all bad. Got this little Pepsi sign. I'm addicted to Pepsi. Anyways, uh, so I've drove into Mancino's and this is where the person who owns the camera from Facebook Marketplace is going to sell it to me. So I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, just picked it up. Got it right in here. Looks to be in all right condition. Um, lens might need to be cleaned a little bit. Aperture clicks pretty well. Shutter clicks pretty well. Focusing is really smooth. It's 
So I can set the timer right now. Let's get it out of the case here. Oh wow, the body's in amazing condition. Focus runs smooth. Yeah, this is, this is in pretty good condition. Just have to find a way to turn the uh, timer off. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, this thing's rocking and uh, it's got a macro switch. Okay, another disclaimer, the MX switch is actually a flash switch. M fires the flash just before the shutter opens to like make sure it's the brightest as soon as the shutter opens. And X fires the flash as soon as the shutter is open at its full um, capacity. So just different variations of a flash. Oh, this is cool. I was, I was expecting an electro. This is an IC. Oh yeah, came with a giant flash as well to be plugged in somewhere no, or nowhere, maybe. Oh, right in the front. Don't know much about this camera specifically, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research, but overall, very happy with the purchase. This is pretty cool. Probably won't use this flash that much. Um, yeah, like, I just have to clean the lens a little bit. Woohoo! All right, I'm back at the apartment with my newly acquired Yashica Linux 5000E. Thought it was an Electro, so I started trying to gather up stuff for a battery. I know they have to take an adapter, but I'm actually excited that it's not. Um, this is a full manual, non-electronic camera. Um, so all of it runs without it taking a battery. I've already loaded film in here. It's in an amazing condition. Uh, the viewfinder is nice and bright. Uh, the focus is smooth. I mean, there's some there's some catching a little bit, but that shouldn't bother anything too much. Um, the only issue I might be having is that the when I go to switch the shutter speed, it moves the aperture dial, and it's a little stiff as well. But uh, no, the aperture is, pr I mean, it should have been clicked, but it feels used enough to where it's clickless, but you can still kind of feel where it wants to stop and click. Uh, it has a self timer. The self timer does work. I've uh, tried it. Uh, film advance works good. Shutter seems accurate. Uh, I went through each shutter and looked at it to see how long it took. It seemed accurate from the eye point of view. Uh, yeah, overall it's a nice little camera. Um, there seems to be no lens damage. We'll figure that out when I get the film developed. But overall, I'm excited to shoot on this little thing. I'm excited to see the results from this. I'm also excited to get my Minolta Hymatic 7S because then I can use the flash that goes with it. This one doesn't is a cold shoe mount, so it doesn't actually have a way of firing the flash. Um, it did come with this flash, but it's a bit dusty and the battery compartment's all corroded and have has damage to it. So hopefully I can get into a new flash for this. Because this one's pretty cool because you can have it this kind of bends down to be an angled flash. It has a bounce feature and it there's a little dial to come, kind of work with the camera as well. Um, it kind of makes it lopsided, so I might not even use a, might not get a flash for it, but we'll see. This one's probably not going to work though. But yeah, I'm excited. The, like I said, the glass looks pretty okay. Might need to dust it off a little every now and then. But it feels like it hasn't been out of its leather case. Has, ha feels and looks like it hasn't been out of this leather case since it was got, well, since it was purchased originally. So the bottom and the back compartments all in really nice condition. So yeah, hope to see the results soon and I'll catch you next time.